Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can migrate styles from a previous version of Autodesk Inventor into Autodesk Inventor 2013. Now before I go forging too quickly ahead, what exactly do the styles contain? They contain a lot of things relating to the styles of Inventor, and those can include things like your balloon styles, your dimension styles, if you're in a part, the lighting styles, sheet metal styles if you're using sheet metal, and so on. They also include things like your thread information for when you're placing holes. So there's a lot of information that may have been customized that you want to bring forward and not create. Now one thing about 2013 that we found through our experimentation is that it migrates a little bit different than previous versions of Inventor. If you want to see how to migrate previous versions of Inventor, check out our video at the link here. That'll really help out. Now in this version of Inventor, we grab the styles we want to migrate, and this library migration will copy them to a new location and migrate in the process. It's also going to restructure the folders, so things will get moved around. The whole chart, for example, will go into an XLS table instead of in the root like it used to. It's really important that I say this, and I hate to beat the dead horse, but I can't stress it enough. Before you do this, make sure you have a backup copy of your previous styles. I've rarely seen anything go wrong, but if you're the one guy, there's not much I can do for you, so it never hurts to have that backup. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go to my Windows Start button, choose All Programs, I'll go to Autodesk, find Autodesk Inventor 2013, Go to the Tools folder within that, and find the Style Library Manager. Once that comes up, I can browse to my previous uh, Style Library location. Now this is a custom location I'm going to that I've set up for my own projects, but this is where I've got all that information stored. And in my next column, I choose the Destination. So I'll grab the destination, and that's a folder that I've already created, where I'm going to keep my 2013 information, and hit OK. The Migrate button will light up, and I can go ahead and hit that button. And as we watch this go through, we'll see that Inventor's going to migrate the data forward. It's also going to restructure it a little bit. And it's going to go ahead and make that ready for 2013. Once you have a grasp of the steps involved, it's not really that difficult to do. But they can make the transition a lot easier. And like I said, have a backup. Because if you make a mistake, you can always try it again with that backup. And that's your safety net. So that's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And happy migration to Autodesk Inventor 2013.